deal with your <laughs> shoes. I mean, well, hey, on, hey, a little bro. bit. Bro, are you with the shoes? Workout was. Yeah. How hot it was. No mercy. Fucking burning with a drink of water. You're just bitching about it. Who is the center of the complaint? Uh, yeah, that's me. Let me know. I tell people, I get paid to say this, like I bought that gun like everybody else, but I believe it makes you 20% better yeah, yeah. just by shooting. It does, like, it's it's metal, it does, it makes it easier to do because it recoils so fucking light that it doesn't scare anybody. So like, if you take a, a six-year-old housewife and teach her to shoot a pistol, I teach her on that thing because as soon as she shoots it, she thinks it's a fucking 22 or just yeah. like an airsoft gun. Other than the fact it's loud, it has no fucking can you imagine what they would say if you pulled this thing out of a 7-Eleven? <laughs> like, like some arm intruder, you're like, I got it. What and you fuck that shot, you're like, holy shit! Who's next? <laughs> you, bro. Yeah. Uh, okay. we, did, we talked about 1 to 30. By the point of saying that, take one shot, or 30 shots. Yeah. At what point do you fall back yeah. anyway? Yeah. So instead of a, like a Muay Thai stand through thing, we roll our toes a little more forward in. It makes it easier uh, for us to keep shooting and moving because it's like normal people. Like they get this weird stance, we put them in, it's not normal, but if we keep them toes forward, yeah. it gives us more range. Well, then you can push off either foot or back up. But the box is shooting and moving. Yeah. Walk. Like to your first step of shooting and moving, it comes with nice. So yeah. walk. It's nothing. We're doing the same thing, just really, really simplistic. So I can do it when you are beating the shit out of me. I know how to do this thing under the rest. Yeah. Just one minute water, dude. That's how... If, if you were not so shooting your ass on a fucking 20 minute walk, like, give me a bad thing that a 20 minute walk can do. Like, if you're taking your old lady, you'll have a an actual productive fucking conversation. So absolutely go and play with the wall for your life. But if not, just twenty things you want. Maybe have a fucking breakdown. Experience your kids. Yeah. Like when I get frustrated, I do three twenty minute walks. This is having a shitty day. Oh yeah. But I'm in my own thoughts. I'm not on fucking social media. I'm not on my phone. I just put it away. I just walk. I have one of those days. I walk anywhere else. Right. Yeah. Me and my wife just went to like off. All the kids, we did three twenty minute walks today, just because we were surrounded by three other families, everybody's kids. It's like a little bit. Just get away. I'm gonna walk out for ten minutes. I turn around and walk right back. You come time. back and you're like a new, you have like a new mindset. Right? Exactly. Like yeah. I, don't, I don't have to scream. Shut the fuck. I don't have to. I don't have to. <laughs> I just walked it up. You should be respecting the dudes that came before you. It's like where were you in that? Like, that was bigger than anything that's ever happened yeah. up until August second. I was like. Everybody knew, like, that was when towers fucking fell. For NSW, the towers fell again, June 28, 2005. Yep. They happened again for August 6th, and when that shit happened, the fucking purse stopped. I didn't know anything about Marcus. I didn't know a fucking thing about Danny. I didn't know anything. I only knew about Team 10, the guys that did I didn't know anything else. Yeah. Like, we were in Iraq when it happened. So when we finally found out, when they, I didn't figure out 
about Marcus or any of those guys. They just kept saying the survivors, which we didn't understand. We heard a QRF, but it was, it was so overshadowed by the actual key award. Right? We didn't know. So when we finally figured it out there was an award ceremony, they're pinning on the awards to all the kids. Jeff Lucas is getting his fucking dad's BB, I'm fucking balling my eyes out. Going all the way up, it gets over to, uh, to Daniel, and it's this SCD too. And I, I said it, I was like, what the fuck is he doing? And then it came down another one, I'm like, what the fuck is an SCD-1 guy doing? Yeah. What? I had no idea, but we'd never been read on, because the only thing that fucking mattered was the helo. Yeah. And there's this so whole other life. life, there's this whole other group of families that are in fucking turmoil, we don't even know about it. And it's being overshadowed by it. Exactly. Yeah. Like, well, I remember how confusing well, Mark it was. Marcus who? Like, I never even fucking heard about it. Yeah. I remember Just checking out the one. It was like on the news and Absolutely. everybody was following. He's like, you're on an island all by yourself. You need to swim your way back. He's going to help you. So I came in. I'm like, hey. I swam my way back. I'm like, where do I go? Fuck it. Dude, it was a lesson in oh like... My God. I'll tell you what though, man. It made me... It made me like stronger. Like, dude, well, I you go. wanted to fuck with me. Like, yeah, I was just, like, one dude, he had, I was sitting there naked. And he's just sitting there looking at me. And I'm like, all right, man, am I done? He's like, you can do that. He's like, all right, pick it up. He's like, put it back down. Now do this. He's like, bro, what are you doing? What are you doing? He's like, capping my clothes on. He's like, well, what's your problem? Like, trying to get me to do something. And I just, I mean, you just look at him and you're like, hey, man. I was just like, dude, thanks for your support the want here, bro. Like, thanks for doing your part. You know, and I just like put it on and walked out. But that's the attitude I had at the time. It's just like, dude, just make it out of here. And now we sandwich the whole thing. Up.